All right, what's up, guys? Tools Rock here with Conrine. Uh, wait, yeah, this is our first album review. Yeah, first, right? Yeah, filmed uh, and yeah. hopefully <laughs> uploaded because we did a Thornhill album review, uh, but never uh, could do it because something happened with the mic or the camera. Something I can't even remember now. It was a couple yeah. weeks back. Yeah. But couldn't figure it out, um, so yeah, we got screwed on that one. But yeah, so we're doing North Lane, Alien, one of one of my top three albums, I'd say, of yeah. last year. We we talked about doing like a top albums of uh, 2019 a while ago as well, but this definitely would have been in my top five, I'd say, but probably top three. Okay, yeah, definitely my top five <clears throat> for sure as well. I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, I mean like. Periphery, Thornhill. Thornhill. Those are the only three that come to mind. But yeah, I don't know why I can't think of any right now as well. Anyways, but, yeah, it doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we're kind of just gonna go through each song and, um, you know, talk, rate, rate it yeah. loosely. Yeah, one to and, ten yeah. loose rating, and just talk about you know what we like or don't like about each song. Yeah, and then you know just sort of give the entire album as a whole, you know, one one to ten rating each. Yeah. And you know, we'll just uh, talk about the album, and it, so that it'll be fucking cool. So yeah, we're gonna start off with "Details Matter," obviously, because that's the first song on the album. I, uh, this song is like a classic, like opener to me. Like just like that, like it, it just kicks off like immediately. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's like he just screams the whole fucking song. It's it's just really, really like. Same with, I mean, we said the same thing about the Thornhill album, I remember, like, yeah. like it's, it's just, it just gets, just kicks it, off. Like, yeah, they yeah. chose the song really wisely, I think, and I mm -hmm. saw them live, actually, um, a number of months ago now, but, um, and I'm trying to remember if this is how they kicked it off with, but I, I could Probably definitely, safe, I could definitely, yeah, yeah. I could definitely, I feel like I remember <clears> that being the case. Anytime I see a band live, like, um, I assume they're going to open up with, like, their opening track off whatever their new album Yeah, it is. just makes sense. It isn't always the case, but it's a good, good, a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, I mean, I like this song overall. You know, like you said, it is just sort of driving enough the entire time. The scream, you know, screams yeah. like, the entire time or most of the time, anyways. Yeah, we, there's um, never like a clean like part, no, like a clean chorus or anything yeah. like that. It's pretty. It's pretty just banging all the way through. Totally. Um, so, you know, I guess it's a little bit, um, it yeah. does what it's supposed to do, though. I was going to say one-dimensional, which it kind of is, but, yeah. you know. I think it's it a really good dimension, to. though. Yeah, I think, for I think, sure. I think, I really, <laughs> That's a good way I, of putting it. I really like this dimension. It's yeah. probably the one I've listened to, like, the most, just because I listen to, like, I always throw this album on, um, and like, from the beginning, you know, yeah. like, I hardly ever. I should start jumping in like halfway through because I've heard the first five songs like a thousand times now. I was gonna say that's just, I'm the same way. Like you start it, and you know, it's just makes sense to start it, you know, at the beginning. And I like it all the way. Yeah. I and you end up hearing, you know, if you turn it off before it's completed, though, you always end up hearing, you know, the first half of it or whatever it might right. be. Which, yeah, that's definitely the case for me too. Um, but, but yeah, I mean. I, I don't know what else much there is to say about this one. It's a good, solid, you know, driving song. <laughs> yes. And so, you know, I think I'll give it like a seven and a half. Holy. Why? Where, where are you no, going? No, no, where are I you think, going? I, th I think that's about, no, I think that's about where I was going to go. Uh, Maybe eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eight probably feels better, actually. <laughs> somewhere somewhere around there somewhere around seven seven and a half and eight yeah yeah it's, because it's 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 yeah i mean for what it is like just that banger like category you know it's, it's true it does it really well right but it's hard to, I'd, I'd say i'd say eight i'd say eight's a, a good a nice b all right so moving on to the next one bloodline um this one, I remember we actually reacted to this one. Yeah, when yeah. It first this is, came out. I hadn't even heard much of Northlane um, when this for, when this song came out. I'd maybe heard like Quantum Flux and a few other their big songs, but I, yeah. I hadn't gotten into them at all. And this song, I can't say necessarily pulled me in a whole lot. Like I've really grown to like this song more, but I kind of thought it was not super interesting when we reacted to it. Yeah, I remember it definitely <clears throat> grew on me because yes. when we first you know reacted to it i was like okay you know this was yeah. sort of just like the chorus was catchy the it was verses... sort of yeah to me it was just sort of 
basic north lane like you know it was north mm -hmm. lane but you know there wasn't anything that like i especially and it, and it loved certainly about is it. like the single of the yeah, like the you know their big hit i'd say off the album at least one of them yeah i think it's their biggest song off the album anyhow yeah i mean the music video is really good mm -hmm. um and like i said it grew on me because um you know, it takes a while, a little while to get to it, but there's a breakdown, like, about two or two and a half minutes yeah. in. Yeah. And um, that breakdown, we were just saying, was so sick. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't because know. Because the, the whole song isn't really heavy. <clears throat> exactly. So it hits extra hard. Yes. Yeah. It's a very dynamic song. And, like, the end, how, like, they kind of throw everything together at the yeah. end. Like, they get the... They, like, have almost, like, a second chorus come in at some point. I can't remember exactly when, but, like, they combine it with true like the yeah, other chorus right. and i i absolutely I like a vocal round of sorts um but yeah i really like whenever the end of a song like can you know compresses a bunch of parts and like almost every part in the song and yeah and throws it together <clears throat> yeah no i feel you there um so yeah i mean i i'm having a hard time knowing what to rate this one because it is um, it's different. I give this from, one a seven and a half out of it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling as well. Yeah, like I still don't think it's anything ridiculously special by any means. Like it's not my favorite song on the album. Same, yeah. Yeah, and then next we got 4D. Um, this one I is one of my favorites off the album, actually. Yeah. Um, I want to say it came out as a single as well later after. Blood yeah, Line. yeah. I think I think we might have reacted to this one or i don't know if we reacted to this one yeah i can't remember because i feel like this one 4d or bloodline 4d and talking heads came out and i think we reacted to either talking heads or this one. Oh, you're right maybe we did react to this and one. i think it might we, be talking heads i think we i think we did yeah. react to talking heads because talking heads is one of my favorites on the eyes same I, yeah this these two songs 4d and then the next one talking heads yes. which we're about to talk about um yeah a couple of my favorites for sure i mean this one we were just, you know, refreshing our memory and listening to it, and like the chorus is just so dope. Yes, it's so huge. Like, yeah. yeah. Like the blood bloodline has like a couple of really like big parts, but like True. honestly, I, I like details matter and bloodline because they're really mood setters for both of like kind of what they're about. Like details matter is really heavy. It's not like the heaviest song on the album, but it's just driving, and then bloodline's very like not chill necessarily but just melodic like <laughs> yeah. it's not it's just really catchy and and like so it really sets the mood and then i feel like this song really just is a just a quite it's, it's a bit more of an ambitious song we'll, yeah we'll say like there's more dynamic to it i think not to say that the other two aren't dynamic yeah but this chorus is just so huge and like the breakdown in the middle is super dope and it's definitely worth saying that we have you know we haven't mentioned this yet but just the synth level of synth yeah in this yeah you know, album and just North Lane, you know, usually in general, but especially this album, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the beginning of this song. I mean, just all the different synth, the bass stuff, the, the fucking laser beams, <laughs> whatever yes. it might be, um, is really well written and also just um, put together. Like, this, yes. this album was mixed by my favorite mixer, uh, some people might know, Adam Nolly Get Good. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. So yeah, no, I'm who's the bassist of Periphery? Yeah, like our favorite. <laughs> yeah, and he's I feel mixed... like you told me that once, but it was a long time. Yeah, ago. yeah, he's mixed a lot of you know pretty big um, albums now, but this one's really cool, you know. So that's like the nerdy side of me that really enjoys it for that reason as well. Um, but yeah, getting back to the song, I mean, it, it just it had the dope ass chorus, which I don't know if they did two or three times. Yeah, but we, you know, I remember I like the way it uh, comes in. Yeah, it comes yeah, like, in. Comes yeah. in all soft and then kind of picks up halfway through the first one. Yeah, can't remember if they do that again or not, but yeah, that's that's always really cool. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one I'm gonna have to rate this one higher. It's gonna have to be like, man, it's tough it because I don't know if I should give it. I don't. I almost don't want to give any tens. You give a ten, man. But no. I'm not gonna. No, I don't. Don't let is, my Simon Cowell yeah, energy no. over here. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you have ruin Simon your, Cowell. Ruin energy. your fucking Randy Jackson <laughs> <laughs> energy. I mean, over dog. Like, I just really enjoy the the vibe of the song. Yeah, dude, give it a ten. Um, man. No, I actually wasn't gonna give it a ten, um, but I think I will give it a nine, though. Not really, even a nine five. Not a nine five. I really, I really like this song, but again, I have to be somewhat. Uh, 
restrained yeah, my yeah. numbers. I no, like. see, I'm always like thinking like you know I really like this album. It's one of my favorite albums of last mm -hmm. year, but I still wouldn't say it's like I, I'm thinking like what's a real ten? <laughs> yeah, like you know what's you're always like thinking a, like I don't want to say this is a ten and then something is better and then what do you say for that? Right. But, yeah. No, um, I'll give it an 8.5. Give okay, it 8.5. Cool. Yeah. It's one of my favorites on the album for sure. It's not my favorite, I would say, though. Yeah. Talking Heads is the next one. Um, this one is maybe the favorite for me off the album. It's, it's hard just to so, say. It's just so fucking heavy. Like yeah. That, that core, whatever the hell it is, like the, the force is in my... Like, that part's just so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. When that kicked in the first time I heard it, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I, it was just really quite a showcase for his vocals on this one. I Definitely, like. yeah. That's one thing I should mention is Marcus's vocals are just, like, fucking He's amazing. just so versatile, like, and, yeah. That's I, another point I wanted to make. Is he, doesn't that, even, he doesn't even, like, really flex it that often. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, true. like, in some of their older albums. Um, and maybe he's just getting, you know, more. He's probably getting better. Yeah, well. yeah. Um, but yeah, he doesn't like, you know, he, like he, cause he can fucking sound like, uh, Sam from, or, you know, the, like he does his best Sam Carter impression on this song. Yeah, I feel like with totally. Him, in the chorus, like it's so high and so, so like strange. From Architects, right? Yeah. 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 Is that, did, did I not say who? You just said Sam Carter. Oh, but, okay. Um, but just to <laughs> clarify, but yeah, no, that's one point I really wanted to make is like, in a lot of these songs, it's like the dynamics are amazing cause it's like right into like a quiet sort of almost synthy part just like mm -hmm. really died down and then into this the craziest breakdown and then back into like a quieter part like it's just back and forth and just they do both so well and vocally like i think he just does it amazingly yes. as far as his cleans and then his screams as well like just it just all sounds really dope um but yeah overall this song it just has a lot you know it has it all it has the quieter parts and the fucking crazy ass breakdowns um i mean like i said it's like my favorite song off the album so i'm probably gonna have to rate this one a 9.5 holy cow yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i'll give it a nine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for me it's a nine for, for me it's gonna be a nine for me <laughs> a nine's basically as good as it gets uh, in my <laughs> yeah, and, yeah yeah nine is a ten basically yeah, for you yeah, i feel yeah. like no, I'm, I'm glad that we're we're rating things separately. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want yeah, to. Sure. Like I said, don't let my Simon Cowell bring down your Randy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, next one is Free Fall. Um, just again, this is you know we picked this album because we love it. Yes. Full disclaimer yes, there, disclosure. Yeah. We'll probably always pick albums. That we love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> unless, yeah, unless we, until we run out. It's like, yeah, and then we pick so an many. album that we actually have to like you know fully listen to over mm -hmm. you know a course of time. But which we both listened to this album probably like you know fifty fucking times yeah, <laughs> over the totally. last year. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, this is just another solid song. I mean, we were just you know refreshing our memory on it again, and it was. Or, I mean, for it just, it has the most amazing chorus. I yes. think that's the main thing of this song that I like, is just the way it kicks into this chorus, where he's just so high vocally. Yeah. Um, and it just hits so hard. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, like, I mean, I, I've never really thought about it, but going from, like, it, it really is just keeps building, like, song to song. Like, I don't know if this song's necessarily more... Crazy. I mean, it's definitely not crazy. No, it's talking not, heads, yeah. but it's still like it's like he hits like it's just his vo his vocal performance like really gets more and or con continues to impress like as the album goes on. Yeah, it, it doesn't die down at all. I mean, yeah, I think this probably is an album where there's really not a bad song on it. No, no, I, I don't. Either. I don't think that there's a bad song. Really, I, I most of North Lane. I don't like. They, <laughs> yeah. They're they're one of those bands where, pretty much, like even a bad song to me is just one that I have yet to really understand. Totally, <laughs> like it hasn't grown on me yet, or or it's just isn't necessarily super digestible from the get go. Yeah, but that's another thing about this album is it's super super digestible in my opinion. I mean, kind of strewed or screwed skewed uh, perspective. At yeah. this point, because we well for to a, it. like a metal album of this <clears throat> sort of type. Yeah, I feel like you're totally right on that because mm -hmm. it has like a lot of catchier parts, like choruses and things like yes. that, with clean vocals, and just died down like cool verse parts with like cool synth and everything like that as well. Obviously, yes. 
Um, it's just catchy. Like I think we said the yeah, same thing about the Thornhill, the Dark Pool by the Thornhill, <laughs> by the Thornhill, by the Thornhill. Um, that it's just super. Like if you're not, uh, <clears throat> you know, metal isn't your necessarily go-to genre. Like especially scream, you know. Yeah. Like like it's a good. I feel like this would be a good starter album for yeah for, for someone who isn't quite into screams or heavier stuff. <clears throat> yeah, good point. And yeah, I mean, before we move on to the next one, I also just want to mention it wasn't just the chorus I like about this. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah. it has a, a sick breakdown where they drop it down at the end or close to the end. Um, and then, oh yeah, there was like a verse two that I really like where the drums in particular stand yes, out, where yeah. it's like a cool like rhythm and it's sort of upbeat, but die down at the same time. It's, yeah, so it's, it's really cool. The synth weird. comes in as well. Yeah. And that, and that verse like really, really prevalent. So, so yeah, another just solid song um, for the rating. Uh, definitely, you know, I love, again, love the song. <laughs> it's so hard because I like them all, but yeah. you know, I, I don't think I like it as much as like Talking Heads or um, like 4D. What did I give 4D to 9? Yeah, the, I think it was 9 and 9.5. Yes, 4D yeah. and, then, and, and I gave it 8.5 and 9. Yeah, so I mean, I'll have to probably give this one an 8. A solid eight. I really like this song, but yeah, not my yeah, favorite. Yeah, I think I think an eight as well. Yeah. I think I think an eight as well. Um. So yeah, the next song is Jin. Um. Again, we just we're sort of just refreshing our memory on all these as we go along. Um. And you know, another dope song. You know, we were, I think we were just kind of saying how like each song has almost everything that you would want in it. Like it has a dope breakdown, at least one. You know, it has a catchy. You know, awesome, like clean song. And they're just chorus. not repetitive either. Like almost, they almost always like make the second verse interesting. They True, seemingly, that's a good point. Yeah, seemingly don't go bad. Don't do like three choruses a lot, at least from what I can recall. <laughs> yeah, out of a lot of these, and even if they do, they make it like different the third time, especially like it's re it's really just not like every song is not lazy. <laughs> yeah, or it, it, like they they definitely went for like a unique aspect I think on like like this song like there's a lot of like stops like do, 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 like and like and the, again the synth just continues yes. to add so much yes flavor yeah um but yeah again this was like a really like almost I don't know like the airy, word floaty airy. floaty yeah, I wanted floaty, to say yes, floaty or yeah. airy yeah like yes. the chorus it is it is it does have that similar sound as I think we were saying like the whole album kind of has that same vibe to it but this one definitely i think stands out to me yeah like free free fall uh a lot of the times i kind of space that one even though i really like it but this one i usually pulls me back in with that chorus and just airy feel like i'm like oh yeah <laughs> totally <laughs> yeah know. it is nice I, the, the way they strategically like place the songs in order on the album i think yes. it's really smart because you have some obviously more aggressive ones and then you have some more like less aggressive ones but like we were saying they all kind of have the dynamics there like they all have aggressive parts it seems like or at least most of the songs yeah and then they all have you know clean or like catchy parts as well so um but yeah i mean this wasn't necessarily my favorite one though overall i might have to give it like a, a seven or a 7.5 yeah. I mean, I like, you know, again, it's hard to, you know, just repeat myself, but, you know, they're all good, but this one just wasn't my favorite. Off the, yeah, off no, the it doesn't, it doesn't stand out necessarily a whole lot. I mean, I guess as a song it kind of does, but yeah, not, not, or just because that airy kind of feel to it. Yeah, that, it. that is the, the, my favorite part, the chorus <clears> of the song. Yeah. I'll get a 7.5. Yeah, it is really yeah, no, no I think, I think 7.5 as well. Like, it, yeah. it, it definitely gives me, because I think I gave Bloodline. Uh, 7.5 as well. Okay, yeah. So yeah, clips. Um, this one we reacted to. We should yeah. say that mm -hmm. when it first came out, um, we did Bloodline and this one. Um, and at the time, I wasn't. I don't think either of us were no, too impressed. No. Like we didn't really love the song. It was kind of like, okay, it's interesting. I think because of how synth heavy it is, maybe. But. I don't know. For me, maybe that's what the reason was. Like, I was just, it was kind of driven by, like, the groove of the synth. Yeah, it, and it's also pretty, like, it's kind of rocks. Like, it's definitely not the most dynamic uh, song on the album, but I appreciate it for just how driving it is. Yeah, what it is. Like, yeah. especially coming off of Jin, like, which is probably maybe the softest song. At um, least that chorus, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's just not a whole lot of, like... I mean, there, I think there is a breakdown in it, but, like, there's just... It's it's pretty, like, you know, 
bouncy maybe yeah, <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't know yeah. what the word is but it's just it isn't it isn't it's a most. groove yeah like yeah. that's kind of my favorite part of this song is that like groove it really it, you know it's one of those things that grew on me for sure yeah I love the end of it too, like the, like, I mean, if we were yeah. just for like the music video, he's like up, like the car crash. <laughs> Upside down, yeah, and he's yeah. just like screaming and... I will never, never, my Like, it's yeah. just, a, it's such a personal song, I mean, the whole album. The whole album, yeah, it's, and that's <clears> another <throat> cool thing that we haven't mentioned yet yeah, that the, is the, worth the, noting as well, is that this album, um, and I actually watched the documentary on I still um, need North to watch that. as well, that came out, um, gosh, I wish I could remember the name of the documentary, but anyway... Um, yeah, this this album really Marcus, you know, poured his heart out a lot more into the lyrics, and you know, the lyrics just meant a lot more to him on you this one. You can certainly in particular. tell, like listening to like their older albums and this album, and even like just like the album artwork itself too. Like, yeah. like the sound is much more like emotional than like a lot of their older stuff. That like, you can tell they're talking about like deep like psychological theory yeah. and like science shit like the, even the name of and the And it's songs. funny that you mentioned that because we were just <clears> like <throat> kind of their like in their music videos at least like the way they dress and stuff it's almost like they're from the matrix like. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just that's funny cause I mean and they the still have that vibe well. in this one it just seems like it's more about like emotion and uh, yeah which yeah I mean, it definitely is well this song in particular I think my favorite part is you know like I said the groove but also just the emotion overall in this song yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah so I mean I I guess we just rate it I mean I you know, still even having said those things it's still not my you know one of my faves off off the album um, but um, I, I, I could give it a 7.5 yeah no, I, think, I like that I think, that I think number. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard. I think for me, this shit to give. is so subjective. Like, there's I don't know how other people do album reviews, but this is very just opinionated. Obviously, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'll give it a seven point five. Is I, that you yes, agreeing? No, I'm agreeing <laughs> okay. with you. It's gonna be hard. I think for me to give it. A, we'll see if these last couple songs are. I give it lower than a seven point yeah. five, but I mean, I just like like this album all the way through. So yeah, moving on to Rift. This one, you know, again, we're just refreshing our memories on this as we go along. And uh, this one definitely is, I don't want to say definitely because I can't offhand quite remember the entire songs of the, the remaining it's certainly three. the softest song to this Softest point. song to this point, yeah, yes. good, good point. Um, I mean, I really like the way it comes in and builds up yeah. initially. And it also just, the drums, the drum groove is just so sick throughout the entire song, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely kind of has just a chill vibe the entire way through. Yep. Um, that never had, you don't get that token breakdown. No, you don't get the breakdown. <laughs> you don't get even a big epic chorus, I don't think. No, um, I mean, it's really d d just... compared to the rest of the choruses right, yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's still, a, I still think it's a really good song. It's just, yeah, by, by this time with how I always look like, you know, I think both of us always listen to the album. I'm usually checking out on this one pretty pretty hard but yeah I it's easy to lose <clears throat> focus after a while of listening and then you get like sort of one like this that could put you to sleep almost mm, well and, yeah we should say like we have a night job where we drive like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so like, it's 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 easy to zone out totally when we're listening to music but uh yeah it's i mean i, I still think this is a, a solid song it's um yeah, I guess there's just not a whole lot more to say. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to give it a 7. Yeah, I think, solid, this, I think, solid this, is my, seven. I think this is my 7. I, I might grow on me in the future if I start listening to this album halfway through. Yeah, you should start just putting it on at, like, Gin or yeah. uh, what's the one before that? Free Fall or something. Um, yeah, the next one is Paradigm. Um, this one, hey, we were just saying, it, it's really not... Um, probably one of my least favorite if not my least favorite song off the album it just kind of i mean it has you know a catchy chorus like a lot of the songs yeah and it has you know heavier parts as well but it's um, pretty it's pretty it's just, one it's pretty one track at least for them i should you know compared i mean really we're i'm trying to not shit on it completely because we're comparing it to like to the rest, rest of the album which yeah. is like really really yes. good so it's just less good in my opinion. Um, it's just less sta standout-ish. Like there's nothing about it that really, I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Like whether it be a, just an amazing chorus or like a crazy breakdown or 
just whatever it might be. Yeah. It's just sort of <clears throat> a good song, but it's just kind of forgettable, honestly. Yes. In, no, the, it, in the context of out the of, album. Out of all the songs that we've listened to so far, this one and, and Riff, I remember I said like lazy songwriting earlier. Yeah. Like, and I don't, do not think either of these songs like on a grand scale are lazy by any yeah. means. But out of, out of the whole album, I'd say these are the two less uh, ambitious songs, or the two of the least ambitious songs, yeah. I should say. Yeah, I agree with out that. Of, like, they're both pretty one-dimensional and not, they don't necessarily turn my head. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's a good point. I mean, I think we could just, you know, rate it. Um, I think it's hard. I don't want to go into the six territory. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't either, but... Uh, I mean, it's definitely <clears throat> no <throat> higher than a seven. No higher. <laughs> so I'm going to just give it a seven because, again, I, I feel bad giving anything lower than a seven right. out of ten on this album because of the fact that just the entire album is so good. Yeah, I think seven's... I think seven seven. I think I fair. do like Rift more, but, like... Putting my personal opinion aside, like which I try to do a little bit at least. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, just from like the song, like because I still think it's a really well written song. It's just compared to the like I might yeah. like it more than like some of their older stuff. You know, if you threw it in a, it's just in the context of the rest of the album and where it is in the album as well. Like typically at the end of the album, it's hard to keep attention. I think at least for me. Um, totally. Unless, unless they got some real special shit at the end. Yeah. Get so yeah, then Vultures. Um, this one is definitely way more aggressive than like the past two or three even. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. This one's more aggressive just in general, I'll say. Um, yeah. And I like it. It has a cool groove to it. Yes. For sure. It has a cool groove. Um, but I still, you know, I don't know where... How do you stand on this one? Because I'm having a hard time, actually. I feel like we've given a lot of seven fives, but that's just... Kind of how I feel about, well, not, not that I necessarily think the whole album's a 7.5, but, like, I just feel, again, like, this whole album just, it doesn't really miss a beat. Like, yeah. There's not a single song that I don't like, and, um, yeah, I don't particularly, particularly love this song, but, yeah, again, I, I like it more than the last two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, Good uh, um, yeah, it's just, it's... Yeah, because we gave sevens to the last two, or something, or maybe I gave... Yeah, I think we gave seven to okay, Paradigm, yeah. man. Or Riff and Riff and Paradigm. Yeah, I think this one is a notch above for me, for sure. Yeah. Than those two, anyways, like you said. Um, and just, yeah, like how it's more aggressive after a couple of songs that are not as aggressive. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5 Yeah, as yeah, well. No, I, th I think that's solid. All right, so, yeah, finishing it off is Sleepless, um, which we were just recapping, as we have been with all the songs. And... Uh, yeah, just saying how it's like a really good placement for this song. Yeah, yeah it's definitely definitely a good ender. Because like it's, it's emotional. Yeah, it's emotional and it's, um, yeah, just really like died down, you know, the entire time. Into, but then it well, builds yeah, into an epic like yes, halfway through or so. Yeah, yeah no, I, I like that, especially like with, with like Riff and what Jin. No, I mean, Jin's not heavy, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, I like that this song goes somewhere with with, yeah. with, the, with the softness a lot and I like I like that they end on such an epic and emotional note. This is definitely the one I haven't listened to or given my full attention to as I was saying. Yeah. Uh, the most like I'll either have it turned down slightly or whatever the well, just you know kind of just cruising <laughs> cruising out the end of it. Yeah totally. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really would like to listen to this one probably the most uh, out of out of the last five or so. Yeah. Give it more, give it more listens. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just um, lyrical, lyrically really. Yeah, lyrically, well. and then, yeah, just the overall vibe. Like, I just like how it, you know, it starts obviously very uh, calm and slow and then builds into, like, yeah, the such, epic Such ending. high vocals. At the yeah, end, at the end, end really, where he, like, really kicks into it and he just screams so high at the, at mm -hmm. the end. It's just super powerful. Um, I remember up through like Free Fall or so, I was saying how like it's uh, like I really do look at this album as like the first five or six songs are really like really build up and then it kind of levels off. And yeah. Our ratings were also reflective of that, like totally. levels off for a few songs. Then this song is really quite the, just quite the finisher. Yeah. No, I like, I don't know if most bands do like sort of the more like emotional or epic song for the end but i know like loon and p3 yeah. did that also satellites and people i'm just like race car kind yeah of. race car and p1 just mer 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 <laughs> just referencing only periphery but 
really like <laughs> they that they they do uh they always have out, they, they always so. have an amazing song at the end like marasma on p2 is one true of my, yeah one of my favorites that fucking because like they have that one we're really getting into periphery here but they have like this one theme of the whole album yeah and they end with that theme mm -hmm. on, on marasma as well i don't think i think i'm pronouncing that right but i don't even know but Periphery's names are so crazy. But getting back to North Lane, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I've said what I wanted to say about it. Just super, uh, I like the way they ended this album with this song. Yes. Um, very epic <clears throat> and emotional. Um, so, yeah, I mean, still not, though, my favorite song off the album, if I'm just, you know, taking everything I'm into giving consideration. This one, I'm giving this one an eight. I think, I think an eight. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> Because I do, I might like, give it an eight point five. Yeah, taking out my personal like opinion of it and just like the lyrical, like you know, again we. You got to consider too how it ties in the entire album yes, as well. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 I think I think eight <laughs> the album five. placement. I think eight important. five because it, it is a really just ambitious song and a standout song on the album too. Definitely. Um, yeah, no, I, th I think eight five is is what I'm going to give it. Cool. Well, I guess that wraps up sort of. I mean, this. Is, feels like it, we've been doing it forever because you know whatever i mean who knows how long this video is going to be once it's edited but are we giving the whole album already yeah now okay. this is the ending we might as well i'll leave timestamps as well like so you know it, you know you probably already will see it i'll have it in a comment or whatever but anyway <laughs> it doesn't matter uh yeah this is tough man it's tough because like we keep it's been saying the entire video it's just a really solid one of my favorite albums um they're both out yeah, of all time, because, you know, I don't know how many albums I've even honestly listened in their entirety to. Like, yeah. I've listened to, you know, maybe a couple hundred or something, but. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But no, nothing, no, nothing I just, crazy. I, just, I, just no want, crazy I, just, I wasn't questioning. I was just, I, well, I guess yeah. I was questioning, but I'm, I just wanted to make sure that's what you meant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fuck. Dude, don't let my Simon Cowell energy. I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm nine. giving it an eight five. Yeah, well, it's not. It's not my. It's not my favorite album out of out of uh, like I. I think we gave. I think we both give the Thornhill album a nine. I'm trying to remember. I know, no, like it didn't come out, but I think we both gave it a nine. Okay. On the on the Thorn, which I definitely like the Thornhill album more. Like. Men significantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the Thornhill album more too. I have to say the Dark Pool, in case you don't know. Yeah. Um, so I guess my ratings don't necessarily reflect. Oh that no. I, yeah. But maybe I should have given Thornhill a nine. Even 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 taking <laughs> even taking Thornhill or Thornhill out of it. Thornhill. Or <laughs> Thornhill. Thornhill. Um, even taking this Thornhill. It's been a long video. This is not like my favorite. This is not one. Of, I mean, it's I really 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 like this album. Definitely one of my favorites yeah. of last year and recently. It's just, yeah, I can't say it's. I throw it on all the time. It's really digestible. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really good album. Yeah, and eight point five for me is a is a yeah. Solid no, you're the Simon Cowell. Yes, we gotta yes. remember this is Simon Cowell over here. Mm -hmm. I'm Randy Jackson. <laughs> all right. So this is Simon Cowell, Randy Jackson signing off. We got an eight point <clears> five and a nine. Eight point five for me, dog. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I guess this wraps up officially our first uh, album review that we're gonna actually be able to upload. Um, because like we mentioned before, Thornhill. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully this works out. Because the Thornhill album got lost, um, or that review did. But uh, yeah, hopefully you liked it. Uh, so if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and uh, you know what I'm saying, check out our new song, and we'll see you guys on another video.